Hey guys, I'm Lincoln from back here for the video. Guys, let's get right into it. Question of the day coming in right here. Which quarterback had the most interceptions thrown in the 2016-2017 season? So pretty much, go ahead and answer that down below. And I will go ahead and like the person who does go ahead and answer it correctly. I am also replying to every single person that comments. So you can also win comment of the day like Royce Martin did right here. Or you can go ahead and just comment something. I will apply to it and I will have a conversation with you. So make sure you comment down below and let's get right into it. So guys, let's talk about this past weekend, which is technically yesterday. And that's going to be with the new players being added to the game, Randy Moss and Ed Reed. And to be honest, this is probably the only time I've ever sat here and said, hey, I want to spend money in the game because it was a good time to spend money because of the fact that, you know, these crazy players are in the game, Randy Moss and Ed Reed, and it made everyone exciting. And I feel like that's the thing EA needs to do a lot better. They need to make the game more exciting, more just like, oh my gosh, look, something's new in the game. Something is exciting in the game, and that's something they need to fix. And real fast, guys, I have to... Uh, Put this back up for a second because I don't want to give away uh, my uh, pack opening later today. It's something that's sold. So, <laughs> don't want to give it away, but you're probably going to tell uh, by the coin amount. But, you and Alright, let me just go ahead and do this. Alright, and let's go back into the video. <laughs> don't notice the coin amount, please. Alright, so as I was saying now, um... So they did make it more exciting, you know, more reason to actually open up packs. Because like Randy Moss and Ed Reed, those are reasons why I want to open up packs. Those are reasons why I get excited about this game. And when that kind of stuff is added to the game, it makes it fun. So I'm hoping that they go ahead and continue to do this when it comes to future stuff, like future promos. I don't want promos that are just about spending money, but if they do promos that are related around the whole spending money aspect, make them exciting. Make them, you know, just f cards that we actually want. And I know a lot of people hate the NFL Replay promo because of that. Because they're like, we don't want a clutchy assembly. We don't want this card. We don't want that card. You know, we want to have, you know, this new card we have. We want to have this card or that card. We don't want to have a clutchy assembly that maybe Raiders and Ravens fans will like, but not many other people. They want, you know, a lot of people want cards that are players who haven't gotten many cards this year. Odell Beckham's a good example. I know he just got a new uh, card with the Combine, but he's a good example of cards. Like, we need those type of players to get new cards. So, it's going to be interesting to see how they end up doing stuff, but we have one of the most exciting time of the year coming up in literally less than a month guys at the end of this month we have golden tickets ultimate tickets but i keep calling them golden tickets they used to be golden tickets but it's the idea you could create any card you want in the game you can take any card physical card in the game you can upgrade it how you want to and make it your own card you get that card nat version and then it's put into packs so that is very very freaking awesome and then we follow that up with nfl movers which i love nfl movers then we follow that up with the draft promo and then we get into you know may and stuff like that also we have the easter promo coming out in april so a lot of stuff back to back to back to back coming up very very soon guys i feel like if there's ever a time to get excited about madden and excited about you know the game mode this is going to be the time because this is when everything starts popping off and everything starts becoming fun again this is how madden becomes fun again is everything happening all at once and you know all the stuff just coming out of at once so again i'm very excited about this time i cannot wait until you know stuff starts really coming out and we start seeing these op players that we actually want to play with another thing i've seen a lot of people commenting and you guys comment down below and tell me your thoughts and opinions but a lot of people are saying that they hate that the highest of all players are ultimate legends they want the highest of all players to be current players in the game that they can play with and i do see that to a certain degree now i understand why ea cannot just give any call to 99 of all because if they do not deserve it then it's kind of defeats the purpose of even upgrades system because if i can get a 99 of all and have an awful season what's the point of you know having a 99 of all so i get the purpose on that aspect but i do understand that people want to play with cards that are currently in the nfl if i go into a game and i'm playing with cards from 1980s 1970s it's like, that's awesome, but I want to play with an Odell Beckham that's a 99 of all. I want to play with a card that I'm seeing every single Sunday play in the real life. I don't want to play with a card that's kind of, you know, just old and washed out. 
Um, with that in mind, also, another thing I've been seeing people say a lot, and I don't know what I feel about this. And again, I'd love to hear feedback down below. That's what the series is about, guys, if you all knew. This is kind of like a just a talk-to-talk -talk series about Madden. I, you know, you commenting down below is the big part of this to kind of give you opinions. But a lot of people are saying that there should be some kind of faster upgrading system to Ultimate Team. So if you guys do not know how Ultimate Team works is right now we're not even in 99s and we're in March. It, in March and it's a slow upgrade, you know, we we get 85s, 87s, 90s, and then all the way to, you know, December where we get, so I get 95s, and January we get 97s, and stuff like that. I've seen a lot of people complaining, saying that they get bored of the game too quickly because of how long it takes to upgrade cards. And I do feel that way to a certain degree. I feel like it's really good because it lets people, you know, really learn the game. And you're not, you're not just thrown right in there where someone, you know, spends a million dollars and are able to go ahead and build a 99 of all team day one. And you can't do anything because you don't have money. That, I do like that system, how it's a slow progress. But I do feel like in a way, it is kind of too slow. I wish it was a little bit quicker. Not too much quicker. Not like, you know, every three seconds of the new 99. But I feel like to start off the game... There should be Mutt Master. I feel like should go back to a 99 overall. I feel like there shouldn't be a Mutt Master. Uh, this year was 95. I think it should be back to 99. That's just my personal opinion. I feel like a 99 overall Mutt Master is the best solution in that aspect. Other than that, though, I feel like they should go ahead and you know just add add some players where you can go ahead and grind if you grind enough you can go ahead and get a higher overall player maybe it's nat maybe something like that but make solo challenges actually worth something in previous years you know we had solo challenges where you could get packs to be honest in previous years last year especially i didn't even open up packs with money i went ahead and i just grinded solo challenges and i got packs from solos that were able to open up and get ultimate legends or pull this card or that card I had nine limited time pools last year. I have two this year because I was able to go ahead and just grind my way through solo challenges and get packs. This year, they take they took that away. They made everything NAT, the year of the NAT. I'm just hoping that next year they can go ahead and change that back. I saw someone comment. It was a really good comment. They said they need to make it so that solo challenges are replayable. And I do very much agree with that. If you're going to take away the pack aspect where you can't pull packs from solos, make them replayable. Make them so that it's not like, oh, you have 2,000 solos. Once you get them done, you're done. Because you want to, if they want to avoid farm accounts and they want to get rid of them, you make solo challenges replayable and farm accounts go bye-bye. No one's going to use a farm account unless you're doing the objective solos. I mean, objectives, uh, you know, like 95 of all squad. Other than that, no one's going to use farm accounts because there's no point to. So if they want to make it so that, you know, like, oh, hey, no more farm accounts, solo challenges, replayable, no more farm accounts. Because there's no reason to go ahead and grind new solos on a farm account if you can just do it on your main account. So I'm hoping they do that. I'm hoping they really fix Mad 19. I know right now um, on Twitter they said, I think Snacks said his, uh, no, someone tweeted at Snacks, one of the EA developers saying that they had um, his ratings already done. Ratings for Madden, I believe they start working on them the second the new games were released. The second Madden 18 was released, guys, they start working on Madden 19. So, by this time in March, they're, you know, not half done, but they've probably gotten a lot done on the game. So, that's the thing when it comes to later in the year, as we get later in the year, people say, like, EA cares less and less. They kind of do because they're already walking on the next game. They're not walking on this game anymore. This game is, you know, okay, we're going to update and fix some issues, but we're kind of focused on the next game. We're not focused on this game. So, with that in mind, though, again, boss battles, great, you know, gr very great game mode. Two-minute warning. I love how you get free contracts. This kind of stuff. I get it that this can't be repeatable or else you could get like 6 million contracts. But in boss battles, same concept. You can't repeat that. But the gauntlet, the level solos, this stuff I feel like should be repeatable. I feel like you should be able to keep on grinding that over and over again. Maybe, you know, do a different reward system. Stuff like that. Another thing I saw that I really like was I believe this is on NBA 2K18. Where you could go ahead and just, um, depending on what game mode you play on. Uh, let's say for Madden, rookie, all pro, 
or the rookie, pro, all pro, and all Madden, depending on what system or game mode you play on, you should get better rewards. I feel like that would be a great idea and that would help out a lot. So tell me down below, guys, your thoughts and opinions. Again, this series is just going ahead and trying to snipe some and talk about football, talk about Madden, you know, cover everything like that. So with that in mind, peace out, guys.